forever. Grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles and let's go. Let's go to work. I want to go to the Old Testament book of Leviticus. The Old Testament book of Leviticus, chapter 17. Leviticus 17. I want to thank um, Brother Sean Arnold and our uh, sound ministry. Uh, he's buying six tickets to give away to anyone um, that cannot afford to go to the movies. Amen. He has purchased six tickets. So if you cannot afford to go, honestly cannot afford to go, make sure you let them know in the vestibule after church is over. And they will give you one of those tickets. Amen. He reigns forever. I'm trying to behave. I really am. I've been good so far. He, he reigns forever. He reigns. Yeah, he reigns forever. He reigns. <laughs> uh, he reigns forever. He reigns forever. He reigns. Mm. Forever. Mm. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. He reigns forever. Ah. Leviticus chapter 17. Verse number 11. Leviticus 17, 11, reading from the New Living Translation. It says, for the life of the body is in its blood. I have given you the blood on the altar to purify you, making you right with the Lord. It is the blood. Somebody say the blood. It is the blood given in exchange for a life that makes purification possible. You may be seated in the presence of Just give me a few, a few minutes to deal with the subject, a spiritual blood transfusion. A spiritual blood transfusion. Look at somebody and say, I thank God for the blood. I do. Find somebody else and tell them I thank God for the blood. I thank God for it. I 
Find one more person, just tell them I thank God for the blood. I thank God for the blood. I do. I thank him, I thank him, I thank him, I thank him. Woo! Shia! Gende! Mandororo! Shia! Ay, yeah, yeah. Ah! Somebody holler the blood, the blood, the blood. 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 Thank God for the blood. Do I have anybody that thanks God for the blood? Somebody holler the blood, the blood. Give us, give us a few minutes to, to work on this. Bless us real good in Jesus' name. Amen. I know. Y'all been trying to shout the whole service. I do understand. I'll turn you loose here in a minute. A spiritual blood transfusion. Brothers and sisters, just in case you don't know what a transfusion is, Webster defines it as to take blood from one person and put it into another. And as you do research in the Bible, you would discover all the way back in Genesis, it begins talking about blood. Genesis chapter 9, verse number 4, it says, But you must never eat any meat that still has the lifeblood in it. Minister Phillips, God says this for several different reasons. Number one, to discourage pagan practice. Follow this just for a minute. Israel was to be separate and distinct from the foreign nations around them. And eating blood was a common pagan practice. It was done in hopes of gaining the characteristics of the slain animal that they ate. Are you with me here? In, in other words, if the animal was strong, then they believed they could become strong by eating that animal. If the animal was fast, they believed by eating that animal, they would become fast. But God desires for his people to rely on him for strength and not on ingested blood. Are, are you still with me here? N number two, they did this to preserve the symbolism of the sacrifice. Blood symbolized the life of the animal that was sacrificed in the sinner's place. In order to drink it, it would change the symbolism of the sacrificial penalty and destroy the evidence of the sacrifice. Are you still with me? Number three, they did it to protect the people from infection because many deadly diseases are transmitted through the blood. Can we work just, just for a minute here? Let, let, let's listen to what God says. Uh, uh, yes, God says himself through Jesus Christ in John chapter 6 verses 53 through 56. The Bible says, so Jesus said again, I tell you the truth, unless you eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, you cannot have eternal life within you. But anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise that person at the last day. For my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in them. God knew, child of God, the blood of animals in the Old Testament could not take away the sins of mankind. So he had to come up with an alternative means to save the souls of man. And that alternative mean was a spiritual blood transfusion by taking the blood from one person and putting it into another. Can we work just, just for it? God knows I feel like preaching it with the blood of Jesus Christ. Child of God, one might ask the question, why do y'all get so excited when you think about and talk about the blood of Jesus Christ? Let me answer that today by exploring these things three things child of God first of all I discovered the blood of Jesus is precious uh, secondly the blood of Jesus provides uh, and thirdly the blood of Jesus is powerful 
Are, are you still with me here? The blood of Jesus is precious. The blood of Jesus provides and the uh, blood of Jesus is powerful. Let's look at uh, how precious the blood of Jesus is. Uh, to fully understand how precious blood is, uh, let's look at uh, some things about the blood. Uh, this verse tells us that the very life of the body is contained in the blood. Uh, as I stated earlier, medical science didn't understand this until the advent of powerful microscopes uh, that now allow doctors doctors to look at the blood and better understand its functions in the body. Uh, but deacons among the substance of the body, the blood is unique. Uh, consider these facts, child of God. The blood, number one, is the only tissue uh, of the body that is mobile. Uh, uh, the body, the body, the body produces many fluids, but the blood is literally a liquid tissue. Mm. Other fluids are limited to certain areas of the body, but the blood touches every single cell in the human body. Can I talk to you just for a minute here? Uh, number two, fact number two, there are about five quarts of blood in your body. Uh, this blood travels through your uh, body every 23 seconds. Uh, as it does, the blood carries oxygen and nutrients to the cells of your body, uh, bringing life as it travels through your body. Uh, at the same time, the same blood also removes the waste uh, products from the cells. Uh, I feel like preaching in here. Uh, this waste never contaminates the good things that the blood carries which the body needs uh, y'all miss that uh, imagine if you will the local garbage truck picking up your trash and also delivering your meals uncovered somebody will get that later child of God uh, number three fact number three uh, while the red blood cells in the body are carrying oxygen uh, rich hemoglobin and nutrients to the cells uh, another part of the blood known as the white blood cells uh, they are um, yes, mm -hmm, notice uh, they notice a swelling in the area of the injured mm, your injured body child of God this is caused by the blood being rushed to the injured area blood that is rich in white uh, blood cells uh, these cells have the power to kill and engulf germs and infections uh, as they do their job they die in the process uh, and are expelled from the body along with the infection uh, in a material we call pus child of God uh, all of this is going on in the blood uh, somebody holler the blood fact number four there is more than blood uh, it, it, there's more that blood does uh, such as carry the antibodies and antioxidants uh, but these uh, these 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 simple insights are enough uh, to let us know that the blood is extremely vital to the existence uh, of the human body the power of the blood in the human body is so great uh, that an infection in the bloodstream has the power uh, to infect the entire body and the loss of too much blood has the power to interrupt human life oh I feel like preaching in here while the blood and its importance cannot be overstated in the human body everything we've had about the blood that we've learned about the blood thus far also has a spiritual application just as the blood is necessary to physical life the blood is also necessary for spiritual life however the major difference is that in the physical realm one must have his own blood in the spirit realm we must have the blood of somebody else and you wondering why I get excited when I hear about the blood of Jesus Christ can I preach this thing like I feel it in fact the Exodus chapter 12 verses 12 and 13 proves it the Bible says sister Kim on that night I will pass through the land of Egypt and strike down every firstborn son and firstborn male animal in the land of Egypt brother Darrell I will execute judgment against all the gods of Egypt for I am the Lord but the blood on your dope post will serve as a sign marking the houses where you're staying when I see the blood 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 I will pass over you this plague of death will not touch you when I strike the land of Egypt and you wondering why I get excited when I talk about the blood it's because every time he sees me he sees the blood and when he sees the blood the stuff that the enemy brought my way to destroy me and take me out God said I allow it to pass over somebody ought to thank God for the blood look at one 
person and say, neighbor, the reason why the accident didn't kill you is because God saw the blood. He saw, he saw the, he saw the blood. He said, I'll allow it to pass. The blood is precious. Secondly, let's look at it. Y'all sit down just for a few minutes. I promise I ain't gonna be long. Y'all sit on down here. His blood is precious. Hey, uh, his blood. Secondly, it provides. Somebody say it provides. God tells the nation of Israel that he is the one who has given them the blood. He was the creator of it. And he was the author of the sacrificial system. Uh, left to themselves, Israel would have chosen any number of methods for conducting religion. It would have involved idols and works. However, God devised a system that involved death and suffering. Why the death and suffering? Because the sinner needed to know firsthand the penalty and the price of sin. Are you still with me here? God demanded blood from the children of Israel. And the Lord still demands blood today. Many in our day get sick at the mention of the blood. However, it has always been God's method of dealing with sin and always will be. Hebrews chapter 9 verse number 22. The Bible says, in fact, according to the law of Moses, nearly everything was purified with blood. For without the blood, the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. We discussed this last week. 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 18 and 19. For you know that God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors and it was not paid with mere gold or silver which lose their value it was the precious blood of Christ the sinless and spotless lamb of God this verse is a prophetic verse here the Lord is speaking ahead to a time when he would give the ultimate blood for us he's looking ahead to a time when his precious son would go to Calvary and shed his blood for you and me. That was the purpose behind these sacrifices. It was all pointing to the cross. The place God mentions in the altar, he mentions is the altar child of God. A place associated with death and suffering. The altar was bloody. It was a grim place. Also marked by the blood and the dead and dying. From the altar arose the smoke of the sacrifices uh, that burned there continuously. Uh, it was the place of suffering, child of God. Uh, again, this is all pointed ahead to a time uh, when the Son of God would go to an altar called the cross uh, and he would shed his blood for the redemption of mankind. Uh, I don't know about you, but I thank God for my spiritual uh, uh, blood transfusion. Uh, please never lose sight of the terrible price uh, that Jesus paid for you and me he suffered terribly so that we might be saved child of God just as the sacrifices of old were tied to the altar and burned with fire Jesus was nailed to his altar and burned in the fire of divine wrath the price he paid was a terrible price God reminds them that the person he gave them that gave them the blood child of God it was to make atonement for our sins. The word atonement means a covering. God gave them the blood as a means of covering their sins and of bringing them into fellowship with himself. Lest we forget, sin separates us from the presence of God. Isaiah 59 and 2. God knows I feel like preaching in here. The Bible, the Bible, the Bible says it's your sins that cut you off from God because of your sins he has turned away and will not listen anymore that's Isaiah 59 and 2 
But the blood has the power to bring us back to God. I don't know about you, but one of the most remarkable truths in the Bible is the fact that God genuinely wants to have fellowship with you and me. He has proven this with the length and breadth that he's gone to bring us together. The fact that God would place a value above that of another life is amazing to me. Child of God, it's absolute proof of the power of the love of God for humanity that he would value us more than the life of his son that is beyond words to me every time I think about God loving us enough when we were considered his enemies but yet and still he gave his only begotten son he provided for me and you when we were not thinking about God he loved us enough and thought about us do I have a witness in here I'm out of here Mount Zion may the Lord God bless you real good I see his blood is precious his blood provides but then lastly his blood is powerful can I talk about how powerful his blood is ah, somebody say powerful ah, it's stated in this verse again that the blood that was given was given to cover our sins that is when the blood was shed and applied to the altar God saw the blood and not my sin y'all don't know when to run in here y'all don't know when to holler when God sees the blood he sees the blood and not my sin let me back that thing up and say it one more again when God looks at me he sees the blood and not my sin because the blood it covers my sins it was removed from his sight and he accepted the blood of an innocent sacrifice in place of a guilty sinner like me and you I just said something there child of God all of the millions of sacrifices that were slain during the days of the tabernacle and later in the temple not a single sin was ever removed from them uh, we're talking about Old Testament uh, they were only covered by the blood uh, and had to be recovered uh, as they were recommitted uh, this is told very clearly uh, in Hebrew chapter 10 uh, verse number 11 uh, it says under the old covenant uh, the priest stands and ministers uh, before the altar day after day uh, offering the same sacrifices again and again uh, which can never take away sin uh, the sacrifices uh, were never finished uh, and sin uh, was ever a problem uh, child of God I thank God uh, we've had a blood transfusion uh, the blood covers sin uh, but then secondly the blood cleanses sin uh, somebody holler it cleanses sin hey I feel like preaching in here uh, when we come to the New Testament uh, to the death of Jesus on the cross uh, we find a sacrifice uh, that was filled with power uh, and the Old Testament sacrificial system uh, that, that, that will never know uh, what we find about the blood of Jesus uh, is that it has the power uh, to take away sin uh, this was the promise uh, of John the Baptist uh, and John chapter 1 uh, verse number 29 uh, the Bible says uh, the next day John saw Jesus uh, coming towards him uh, and said look the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world can I preach for a few minutes here I've come by to tell you I thank God for my blood transfusion bye bye Mount Zion may the Lord God bless you real good I heard Hebrew chapter 10 starting with verse number 12 it says but our high priest offered himself to God as a single sacrifice for sins uh, good for all time uh, then he sat down uh, in the place of honor uh, at God's right hand uh, there he waits until his enemies uh, are humbled uh, and made a footstool uh, under his feet uh, for by that one offering uh, he forever made perfect uh, those who are being holy uh, thank God for my blood transfusion uh, Hebrews chapter 9 uh, 
verse number 27 huh? it says and just as person huh, is destined to die huh, once and after the uh, the huh, that comes the judgment huh? so also Christ huh, was offered once for all time huh, as a sacrifice huh, to take away the sins of many people huh? he will come again huh, not to deal with our sins huh, but to bring salvation huh, to all who are eagerly huh, waiting for him huh? I thank God huh, for my blood transfusion first John chapter 1 uh, verse number seven says uh, but if we're living in the light uh, as God is in the light uh, then we have fellowship with each other uh, and the blood of Jesus uh, his son uh, it cleanses us uh, from all sin uh, I feel like preaching in here uh, unlike the Old Testament uh, sacrifices uh, the sacrifice of Jesus uh, on the cross uh, will never have to be repeated uh, look at one person and say no Neighbor, huh? I thank God for the blood. Huh? It was a one time huh? for all time offering huh? that forever removes the sins huh? of every person huh? who places their faith in him. Huh? He's in his shed blood. Huh? I've come by to tell you, huh? baby, his blood, huh? it covers huh? his blood. Huh? It cleanses. Huh? But lastly, huh? and then I'm out of here, huh? his blood converts huh? the sinners. Huh? Do I have a witness in him? I heard. I said I heard. I heard. I said I heard. I heard. I said I heard. 2 Corinthians 5.17 This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone and the new life it has begun. I thank God for my blood transfusion when a person under this system offered his offering to the Lord and spilled the innocent blood. Nothing's changed in their life but the moment you accept the Lord Jesus Christ, the blood of the Lamb has the power to convert your soul. Do I have a witness in here? I heard. I said I heard. I heard. I said I heard. I heard the songwriter when he put it like this. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood. Would you ever evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There's power. Power. Wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. Would you be free from your passion and pride? There's power in the blood. Come here. Come for a cleansing in Calvary's tide. There's wonderful power in the blood. There's power. Power. Wonders working power in the blood of the Lamb. There's healing in the blood. There's protection in the blood. There's soul saving power in the blood. I thank God for the blood. It'll never lose its power. It reaches to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. The blood that gives me strength from day to day. No, no, never. Never lose. Mm. Shia. It'll never lose. It'll never lose. It'll never lose. He is power. Look at somebody and say, It'll never lose. It'll never lose. 2,000 years later, it's still healing. 2,000 years later, it's still protecting. 2,000 years later, it's still delivering. It'll never lose its power. Say, yeah, 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 yeah.
wonder work. Oh, just working power in the precious, in the precious blood oh. of the Lamb. Come on, let's just thank God for His Word all over the house. There is power, power, wondrous working power in the blood. In the Blood of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. There he is. There is power. Power. Who wants working power in the There might be one here today, after hearing the word of God, you are looking for a new church home. The blood, the blood, that Jesus, that, uh, Jesus that he shed for me. Ah, there might be one here today. Mm. For me. Way back on Calvary. If you're here looking for a new church home, you desire to be saved. You want to rededicate your life to the Lord. Way back. Because you're in a black, backslidden Calvary. state. If you're here. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. The blood, the blood. The blood. That gives me strength. That gives me strength. Is there, is there one here today? From day. From day. Woo. Today. It will never. It will never. Is there another? Is there another? Is there another? It's time. You're looking for a new church home. You desire to be saved. You want to rededicate your life to the Lord. If you're here, will you come? It reaches. If you're here. It reaches. To the highest. To the highest. If you're here. Without Christ. Get up now and come. If you're here, will you come? Will you come? It flows. It flows. If you're here, will you come? To the Lord. Oh, yeah. The blood, the blood, the blood. The blood. That gives me strength. If you're here, will you come, my brother, my sister, from day, from day yes. to day, it will never, it will never, never, never lose. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on you. It's power. It reaches. One more time. It reaches. If you're here, we're waiting on you, my brother, my sister. To the highest.
never, 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 you'll never lose, never lose, never lose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have I got a witness here today? You'll never lose. Still works. The blood still works. Still works. It still works. Yeah. It still works. The blood still works. To Pastor, Hum- to Pastor Humphrey and the Mount Zion family, we have the following person seeking membership. When I call your name, if you can please stand and remain standing. We have Sister Shatera. I'm sorry, Shatera Carita. I'm sorry, sweetie. And she's coming as a candidate for baptism. Glory Amen. To God. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sis, on behalf of our pastor, Pastor Lancey Hunt, and our first lady, Nikki, we want to welcome the church. We right hand a welcome. Welcome to Mount Zion, the church where everybody is yes. somebody. Amen. We are, someone will be contacting you, let you know uh, the first Sunday of next month information about you being baptized. Church, can you give God for some more praise? Hallelujah. There's another saint. Can you follow sister on the membership club right here? And she'll gather more information. Hallelujah. Somebody holler, the blood still works. It still works. It still works. Amen, amen, amen. We are now preparing for our... Why are the deacons still standing? Why are y'all still standing? 